Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this really short video is going to deal with group frequency distributions, uh, but more importantly the construction of what's known as a cumulative frequency distribution. And even more important than that, it's what's known as a less than cumulative frequency distribution. And we're going to actually do a number of variants of it. Okay, uh, We're going to do the less than cumulative distribution, we're going to do the relative version and then the percentage version okay so the less than version of a cumulative distribution okay always deals with the upper bounds of the classes okay so we're always dealing with the upper bounds of the classes okay uh, and the question that we're always asking is how many values how many observations are less than the upper bounds of the classes okay less than there's the key word okay uh, a cumulative distribution is always represented using an uppercase f okay so this is going to be our less than cumulative distribution here. Uh, and then we just start off, I asked the question, like, with respect to the first class, it's upper bound, 18. How many observations are less than 18? Well, there's four, so we have four goes in here. With respect to the next class, and it's upper bound, in this case, 31. How many observations are less than 31? Well, there's the 10 that are in this class, and there's the four that are previous, so we must have 10 plus 4 gives us 14 observations. Then, with respect to the third class, how many observations are less than 44? Well, the 12 here in that class, the 10 in the previous class, and the 4 in the class previous to that. So actually what we have is we have 12 plus the previous 14 that we've counted gives us a value of 26. With respect to the next class, how many observations are less than 57? Well, there's the 14 plus the sum of the previous three classes, which happens to be 26. So there's a 14 plus the 26, which gives us a value or a total of 40 observations. How many observations are less than 70? This is for the second last class. How many observations are less than 70? Well, there's 9 plus all the previous observations, which tally to 40. So in total, there's 49 observations, which is the 9 plus the 40. Here, yeah, it gives us 49. And finally, how many observations are less than 83? Well, all the observations, the 52 of them are less than 83. And as you can see, that's the 3 plus the 49 here gives us 52. Okay? So this particular column here, when we've augmented it onto this onto onto the classes, is what's known as a less than cumulative frequency distribution. And then what we can also do is we can actually create a relative less than cumulative frequency distribution. Okay, the relative or capital F. Okay, and I'll leave this pretty wide here because we're going to construct it using our fractions. So from a relative perspective, okay, we're asking. What is the fractional amount of observations that are less than that are less than 18? Well, we know there's four of them. There's four out of the 52. So there's four 52s. Okay. What fractional of the what fraction of the observations are less than 31? Well, there's 14 observations less than 31. So there's 14 out of the 52. So there's 14 52s. How many observations, what fraction, the relative frequency, what fraction of the observations are less than 44? Well, there's 26 less than 44. 26 of the 52 observations. So there's 26 52s. Or 1 52nd, or whatever way we could pronounce that. Uh, less than 57, well, there's 40 of them, so there's 40 52s. Next, we have 49 52s. And then we have, well, all the observations are less than 83, so there's 52 52s. Okay. Now what we could do with our calculator is actually convert these to decimals. 4 divided by 52 gives us a value of 0 0.076. The two decimal places, it's approximately 0 0.08. Okay. 14 divided by 52 to two decimals is about uh, 0 0.27. Okay. 26 divided by 52, well that's going to be equal to 2. Well, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 goes twice. So 0 0.50. 40 divided by 52 gives us a value of uh, 0 point to two decimal places, 0 0.77. 49 divided by 52 gives us a value of 0 point, 0 0.94. And finally, 52 divided by 52 is 1, so it's 1.00. So these are what's known as the relative less than cumulative frequencies, okay? Because they're cumulative frequencies 
that are based off the less than cumulative frequency column okay and more importantly these are relative less than cumulative frequencies I suppose finally for this video uh, if we want to create percentage cumulative frequencies in other words percentage capital F's okay, percentage less than cumulative frequencies well we just take our relatives and we multiply them by a hundred so we take our relative column and we multiply by a hundred okay uh, so it's equal to when we multiply this by a hundred that gives us eight percent this gives us twenty seven percent fifty percent seventy seven percent 94% and finally 100%. Okay, so 8% of the observations are less than 18. 27% of the observations are less than 21. 50% of the observations are less than 44. 27, sorry, 77% of the observations are less than 57. 94% are less than 70. And finally, 100% of the observations are less than 83. So, this here is our less than column. This is our less than, less than cumulatives okay less than cumulative frequencies this is our relative less than cumulative frequencies and this here is our percentage our percentage cumulative frequencies okay so guys uh, once again uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland uh, and I hope this video uh, was some way intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful okay so thanks for watching